What are we making here? Haute cuisine. In the form of? Delicious. Burger. Burgers. Morning brew, what do you have going here? Tomato. Eggs, rolls. Basically eggs benedict, what we've got here. I mean, Ramsey over here is busy cooking up a madness. Mm-hmm. And we are out here. I mean, the scenes are just spectacular, but... Wow. This is our house, Dijon Larue there. We are fishing this river today. There's so much water, I'm so excited. busy heading down to the river here on the upper bushmans it is an absolutely stunning morning the scenes are just spectacular and the river is looking pretty pretty up to spec as well so yeah hoping to maybe get something dialed this session try out a few new things um, yeah yesterday's practice was interesting caught caught a quite a few fish but just it was too slow to really like you know hone in on something particular or nothing really stood up but uh, that's what today's for us to hopefully come right with the with the practice but we are out of here and that's the most important thing and it don't get much better down a pretty steep hill here to try and get to my little piece of water that I'm going to practice on. Larue and Gerard have headed up there and Jubsy is just below me in the river. We're going to have half an hour to fish, one and a half hours sorry, to fish um, unpressured water and then about another one and a half hours in water that has already been fished. Um, so yeah, it's just so beautiful here, I can't believe it, I mean I'm it's, taking my breath away how beautiful this area is and I'm really wanting to come back soon hopefully it's not a cliff to get down to the water here
shit. <laughs> oh. This looks like our way down. Just had to jump down this little small obstruction and we are at the river actually. So let's start fishing. Fish number one for the morning. Loving the pink, eh? Little baby brown. I just missed one in the same hole and then this guy took it. So it's number one. We got number two here on my electric blue gun with the pink hotspot. Nice little keeper. Another little one here. Come on. Terrible netting job, but got him in the end. This one on the pink bead. Cheers little dude. A bit of a dangerous one here at in the Nettie Gums. Nice little fish. Busy sneaking back down river to fish some water that Jobsy's already been on. Went through a little tunnel there which I thought was pretty cool. Busy walking down the side stream as it's easier than walking down the main stream for sure. Fish. Cheers, buddy. There we go. Another one on the, on the brown red bugger. These things are loving that fly. That's quite a nice one. Oh, he wanted the big streamer. Only filmed the strike of that one and then turned the camera off. Here's another one on the woody bugger in that little pocket. This thing is really working right now. And that is a wrap. Time is going off. Three hours and 32 fish, I think.
um, definitely over 30 um, that was quite an amazing last half an hour just doubled my number of fish now I've got to work out how to get through all of this so I can get out to Gerard I can see him walking up there ready for a shreddy it's cold bro It's going to be a fun morning session, bro, I think. Hopefully it's going to be good fishing. Wind gets light. Mm-hmm. Two hours. Yeah. Flight tying table is a mess, as usual. Got breakfast, sort of on the go. Snacks. Can't wait for session one. I've got a, this muddy piece of river in front of me here to, to deal with. It's just down down the hill there. But yeah, I am super excited to get going and uh, hopefully catch some fish. Headed off to session one of uh, A Nationals 2024. Larue is ready to go. Um, I am not going to film this first session or maybe I will, but I'll be filming quite in, you know, I'll be limiting it as much as possible because I need to concentrate, get in the groove. Maybe I'll film a session for you guys later on. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know how session one goes after it's finished. Check out the water. So, we're down at my beat, which is beat four of the riverside sector. Water is looking pretty good. I mean, I'm not a local here, so I don't know what exactly what good looks like. Um, but to me, it looks amazing. And uh, yeah, we're going to kick off in about 10 minutes. Uh, the first session of A Nationals 2024 here in Camburg. So my marshal for the day is Pilangesi. Hi, guys. <laughs> he is going to be running up and down this beach with me. Do you think we're going to catch fish? One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Yeah. I'll hopefully pick up the camera at some point during the session, but uh, yeah, I'm going to focus on fishing and not on filming. And yeah, maybe see at the end, or maybe I'll pick it up at half time. And uh, yeah, see you then. Let me catch one as in the wake of the track. Finally got something decent. Size is nice. It's a 35.5, so we're gonna, gonna get him back in the water. Just uh yeah, just 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 drop him lightly in the water. Yeah my brood! <laughs> Thanks bro. Let's see him go back. Nice. Well done, bro. Let's go. We had a very good session one um, on the riverside sector. Um, just managed to get a really nice piece of water, something I could work with, um, that I could just fish exactly how I wanted to fish it. 
um, and it just really came right for me and um, yeah was super fortunate to have a really nice piece of water with a lot of fish in that I could work with so I ended up winning that session and uh, yeah felt pretty cool and um, now I'm here at Tendela which is actually similar vibe to what I've just fished except this beat looks way nicer than the one I fished I mean I thought that one looked like nice this looks really nice um, yeah so I'm hoping for a high number of fish um, I mean who knows but anything can happen I mean they might look beautiful and there's just no fish but uh, we're hoping it's not going to be like that I to save battery because I only have 40% left on this puppy am only going to film when I hook a fish so there will be no hook sets in this section um, but yeah hopefully some fish catches and uh, maybe a nice fish or two let's see hopefully I start off by just getting fish number one that'd be amazing time to go no. yo I'm getting excited I'm frothing okay, okay let's go Fish number one. We are approaching halfway through our session here, and I just landed my fourth fish. Um, fishing is super slow, um, but at this rate, we shouldn't have too bad numbers, and I'm hoping the fishing is just going to get better from here on out. So let's see. Fishing is so slow, but got, finally got like a sizable fish. Time? 20 past 4 10 minutes left Gotta get one more fish Come on, one more We are down out here on the water. Um, it was a pretty interesting session. I don't really, I think I left one fish behind and that was a maybe like a 20 centimeter fish that I dropped over there. Apart from that, everything I hooked, I landed. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with how I worked the water. I don't feel like I left much, much out. Um, but yeah, there just wasn't a lot of fish. You could tell the fish like density was super low. Um, yeah, but a really beautiful piece of water will definitely remember it. Um, absolutely loved fishing today. I'm gonna go back to the house and tie some flies. <laughs> I'm out here on Upper Bushmans, which is the sector, the furthest up sector on the Bushmans River uh, for this A Nationals. And behind me is the river. It is looking super nice. Can't wait to start the session. Apparently it's not a bad beat, so maybe I'll get some fish catchers. Um, the GoPro is super low on battery. I don't have a lot of opportunity to charge it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try my best, maybe get some clips. Uh, I'll check you just before the session starts, maybe.
PlayStation 4 is done and dusted. Um, it was a pretty, I don't want to say tough because I had a good time. Um, any opportunity I have to catch fish, so long as I'm catching, I'm having a good time. Did feel a little bit of pressure though to maybe stick a couple more fish, but uh, yeah. Um, credits to the guy before me, definitely made a big impact on the way these fish were biting. I missed quite a few fish and it was my first session where I've actually had that, where I've just missed the fish, where they're hitting it so quickly, just can't get that strike. Um, and yeah, tried downstreaming, tried nymphing, tried my favorite woolly bugger. And yeah, the fish that I got in the end were um, these two fish on this on the streamers, which really I think um, got me I think to 12 fish. I checked my scorecard, but yeah, I mean it was just such a good time. Can't wait to come back here. Good morning. What do we have here? An old friend. So I'm on beat four here at um, Snowflake. This is the last session and I'm so excited to get that first bite. Um, yeah, that's what I always told myself. So long as I'm catching fish, that's actually why I'm doing this sport, you know. It's competition and all of that, but it's more about I want to catch as many fish as there is in a piece of water and just have as much fun as possible while doing it. So yeah, I don't let all the pressure and all that get to me. It's just, yeah, all of that's just gonna, you know, put you off balance. You're gonna actually end up catching less. Uh, yeah, so it's gotta deal with it. Anyway, so, a bit of an old friend here. I've actually fished here before when I came for Proto Trials in 2019 and we were doing technical evaluations on that run and I caught a fish. Like, and I was like the 11th person to, to fish. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm glad to be back here. And it is a beautiful piece of river. I mean, just look at that. Can't wait to get to session, session five on the go. I do, I'm fortunate to have a good piece of water. Um, let's hope the person before me actually left me some fish and uh, that I can catch enough to maybe get a good result. Um, to yeah, most importantly, it's my last day of fishing here. Well, not really my last day. I'm still got pro day trials for seniors right here tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it's my last day of fishing the nationals here. And I'm going to make the most of it by just having as much fun as possible and uh, catching as many fish as I can out of this water. And yeah, results and all of that are cool. But, you know, I paid money and stuff to come here and at the base of it I paid money to come here and come fishing um, so yeah I don't let anything get in the way of that and yeah check you guys in the water my GoPro is fully charged and so I should be able to get some good clips while in the water today see you at the start of the session when did it disappear did it disappear So fun on the 2.8. Oh, it's awesome, eh? Yeah.
done and dusted. And that is a wrap for session five, the final session of the 2024 A Nationals here in Camberg. Wow, what a time I've had. This beach really treated me to some awesome fishing, caught on dry dropper, um, which is something I haven't done, like dry dropper on my casting rod, which is nice. Just getting those fish a little bit further away. If I don't get a good result, I don't care. I had so much fun just on that light rod, my 28, just casting and casting and casting and just getting fish after fish. Ended up on 21 fish, so I don't know how that can do badly. So I know I'm gonna be somewhere in a good position. Uh, yeah, let's go see how the other guys did. positions and uh, to sort out and get lunch packs to everybody and I really want to thank tonight the sexy judges that we had here now this week. We are first place in the third place. Yeah. 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 third place. Third place. Sean Dixon. <laughs> Daniel Factor. Visual <laughs> winner for 2024. Brent van Eesburg. And 29 placing points. We have Cape Wine Nance. In second place with 111 placing points. Sindor Khate. And the 2024 A National Champions with 102 placing points. Western Province.
So that concludes an absolutely amazing A Nationals 2024 here in Camberg. This is the Bushman's River and we fished the Moy River as well. It was absolutely amazing. The fishing was unbelievably good. I mean, I can't even, I can't even really count how many fish I've caught. It's into the hundreds, two hundreds maybe for this entire trip. And I mean, just look around to see for yourself how good this area is for fly fishing. I mean, if I cast in that hole right there, right now, I will catch a fish. We can possibly test that. this hole now and this is probably the sixth or seventh trout I've pulled out of there. Little beautiful brown. It is just such an amazing river. So stacked with fish I, did, I couldn't believe it at first but I mean tons of these little guys. Eat the dry. Nice. Watches us spec still my assets get cut with G-Nets We built this concept, connect like 9X Drinks at the bar